The trip started here, Kennedy Space Center, Florida. Spacecraft, Mariner 9. Launch date, May 30th. Mission, fly 248 million miles through space to Mars. Orbit the red planet for at least 90 days and send back pictures of the Martian surface and data on its atmosphere. Data that should give scientists their first prolonged close-up of the Martian environment. Mariner 9 will be in position to do its job commencing November 13th. On the approach to Mars, its television eyes will record pictures of the planet as it revolves through several Martian days. On command, Mariner's rocket engine will be fired for 15 minutes, slowing it by 3,500 miles per hour so it can go into orbit. One of Mariner's two television cameras is equipped with a telescope, powerful enough to distinguish objects as small as 300 feet across. By photographing the same areas twice, but at different angles, scientists will have stereo coverage, allowing them to accurately pinpoint surface features. Most of Mariner's pictures will be taken when the spacecraft sweeps to its lowest point over the planet, roughly 750 miles above the surface. This strip mapping technique produces a continuous swath around Mars every 37 orbits, making it possible to study recurring phenomena such as dust storms, clouds, and seasonal changes. Both pictures and data are transmitted to the 210-foot tracking antenna at Goldstone, California, and from there, passed on to the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena. Other instruments on board Mariner make surface temperature measurements and analyze the composition of the atmosphere. The instruments will observe early summer in the southern part of the planet and early winter in the north. Cameras, experiments, all are tied together to give scientists their most comprehensive coverage as Mariner encounters Mars.